Hey guys, Maria Mitchell here. Thanks for joining me for another face painting tutorial. I have had a few requests from people wanting more ideas on how to use their star blend powders or face painting powders. In this tutorial, I will show you how to recreate this really pretty butterfly just by using orange, red and yellow with your face painting powders or star blends. I'm going to start off with a red star blend. I'm going to grab my smoothie blender or lollipop applicator and load it up with some red. I'm just going to start by where the eyebrow peaks and I'm going to do a little line downward like that and, and then I'm going to bring it right in just like that and then down the bottom I like to make butterfly wings um, the bottom butterfly wing quite wide so I bring like to bring it nicely like to bring it nice and out and then on the other side we always want to try to make things look symmetrical it's super hard though so I wouldn't worry too much about it again just handle down just below here just above where the cheekbone is we don't want to go too far down below the cheekbone for uh, the bottom butterfly wing try to make them nice and small and just making them meet in the middle like that And then filling in these areas for them to meet in the middle. I've just loaded up another smoothie blender with one side um, with orange and the other side with yellow. And now I'm just going to blend some of that orange into the red and then turn it over to where the yellow is and then blend that yellow right into where the orange is. So flipping from side to side to blend efficiently. To get right under there, under the eyelashes, I like to dip my smoothie applicator onto the powder, just like that. And I'm going to fill in this area right here with yellow. And the rest in with some orange. As the orange, as the red meets the yellow, it does tend to make an orange color, so. It blends really nicely, these two. We can go right to where the eyelid is. It's completely up to you. And repeating that on the other side. So some orange there. And then just to the tip of our smoothie blender, we're going to create some yellow infills right here. So going to where the eye, eyebrow starts. The beauty about using powders is that you, it doesn't matter if you get too close to the eyes. You won't have, if you've got the consistency of paint um, where you've got too much water on your brush, the it won't really be too much of a big deal because then you won't have any runny ink going, I mean not ink, paint going into a child's eye. So I'm just flipping from one end of the yellow to the orange side and just blending it in nicely. Now I've got a number four round brush loaded and I'm just going to go around and outline. So I'm just going to bring my brush right in, pressing it right down and then pulling it up to get a thinner brush stroke. Now bringing your brush up around up and then changing directions to go in as we lift the brush upward yeah sorry off the skin around and then inward and then around again around closing your eyes and inward down the bottom so a teardrop coming up and then arching it out wiggle and then in as we're lifting the brush off the skin. 
skin out and curving it right into me into the middle so all of the strokes are essentially coming to the middle of the face with my brush nicely loaded I'm just going to give it a nice brush stroke inward curving outward and then inward outward inward then just doing the last stroke so pressing your brush almost flat and then curving it in as we pull up off the skin for the butterflies um, body I just like to do a little teardrop pressing down and lifting up off the skin and then some real rough whirly bits just as the antenna with my number four brush heavily loaded with lots of paint it's almost on the watery side to create a little pool of paint i'm going to gently do some pretty dots along the wings i always like to have a cluster of three dots up the top down the bottom and around the middle So pressing right down for a thick dot, medium pressure, and then not so at all. Now I'm going to outline the butterfly outside of the wings. Try not to get too close to the red because you don't want to drag any red along with your white. I love to give my butterflies some stars so I'll just do some really cute little stars just to complement it some other little stars along here so flicking your brush outward to create a pretty little star cluster it's always good to um, keep things even so if we do some stars on this side it helps to also balance it out on the other side and just some dots along the butterfly's body some little teardrops just along the side just to add a little extra something now I've added all these extra bits like outlining dots and stars you don't have to do them um, if you're in a hurry you can just whip this up in no time with your smoothie blenders and your powders so make sure that you give this one a good go at practicing and I hope this helped you if you have any questions about anything else face painting related I'm super happy to help you out so make sure you follow me I'm on Facebook Instagram and Twitter all the details are down below I look forward to seeing you next time see ya Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.